said in the cake. <laughs> Can you guys see me? I'm about to start singing. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> right off the hop, I'm laughing. <laughs> that was so funny last night. My gosh, I had such a good time. <laughs> Can you guys see me? Everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start singing. <laughs> oh gosh, too funny. How's everybody today? <laughs> uh, some of the words I didn't know to that one song that uh, Kathy started singing there. It's like, oh gosh, I can't even remember the words. Oh, it was so fun. I was laughing so hard. It was my sides were aching. I had so much fun last night. Oh my gosh, it was too fun. Oh, too fun. So Gladys is ready to eat some cake, so thank gosh for that. Hey, Terry and Cindy, JP, Southern Girl, Michelle, Gladys is here. I'm glad you all came. Terry Bean. Terry Bean. I would say Terry Bean all the time, but I know who she is. So is everybody doing good today? <laughs> I'm about to start singing. Oh, good times, good times. Oh, can you see me okay? My light's kind of crappy, and I don't know if I... See if I... Oh, it doesn't even work if I move. I don't even... See, if I get under the hood, I'm good. But... I'm hungry. <laughs> I've been thinking about this stuff all day. I'm telling you. Hi, Vanessa, how are you? Yeah, those are my big pups. Yeah, those are my big, my big, my big kids. My big people. Oh, but I made my uh, graham cracker crust already. I pre-did that. So then it just doesn't take a boatload of time to, to like, it doesn't take long to make this, I'll tell you. It takes no time at all. It's simple, it's easy. And if you like coconut, even if you don't like coconut, you don't even have to put the coconut on. Just saying. I'm hungry. <laughs> I have to chill this thing for about four hours. So I just can't make it and dig into it because it's got cream cheese in it too. So Southern girl, you're going to have to make you some because she's a cheese lover. Hey, Steven. I came for the cake. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. I think I might, well, I could probably have some later on tonight. Cheese whiz. No, not cheap. Cindy, what are you talking about? <laughs> Cheese whiz. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Where's Helen? Every time we say Louise, because that's her middle name. That's funny. Okay, I'm ordering corn dogs. <laughs> I've got some of those in my freezer. I forgot I had some in there. I haven't made any. Hi, Jordan. How are you? So it's a simple, simple recipe. I'll put it in my description. You don't have to use the coconut if you don't want to because there's a lot of people that don't like coconut. So you don't have to. You have to cook it for... No, I have to... Um... Hey, Belt Loop. How are you? I have to chill it for four hours, Cindy. No, not cook it for four hours. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? <laughs> no, no, I gotta chill it. Chill it for four hours. <laughs> you, need, you need to make something that we can eat now. <laughs> well, I guess you could, but you kind of want it to, to firm, to be really firm. Doing well, thanks for asking. Oh, you're very welcome, sir. Yeah, I did my um, whipping cream. I used the heavy whipping cream. You don't have to. You can use the, the tub that's already made. You can use that if you want. I used, um, you can also do low fat for this recipe if anyone's watching calories. Also gluten-free. I use gluten-free uh, cream cheese. Because I'm kind of sort of getting into some of the gluten-free stuff. The gluten-free milk that I get, oh, it is so good. 
It is really good. It tastes like the full fat milk. The, what is it? The homage, homino, however you say that. Homo milk, that's what they call it here in Canada. It's like, a, it's got more fat in it, but it tastes good. But this gluten-free milk does not have that fat in it. And it tastes really good. It tastes just like milk. It doesn't taste any different. It's got a really good taste to it. So I'm doing a low carb, high protein thing at the moment. That's what I do with my dogs. Low fat, their protein is through the roof. So yeah, I just can't say that word. <laughs> Homogen homogenizer, you know what I mean, right? That's why I just say home milk. <laughs> Some words you can't properly say, so I just say homo milk. <laughs> Can you slap it on your what? <laughs> what Gladys? What are you saying that hearts in the way? Can you just slap it on your hand and eat it? <laughs> well, I, I guess you could. I guess you could. Homogenized. Is it homogenized or homogenized? I can't even say it right. I know what it is though. I know what it is though. Can you just slap it on your hand and eat it? <laughs> oh gosh. Hadn't seen you in a while and say, oh yeah. Well, I'm, I'm all over the place, right? Belt loop. Like, you know how hard it is to get to everybody. It's hard to get to everybody. Like it's hard or I get there and then I don't comment, but I thumb it up and I watch the whole thing. Some lives are hard to get into because I am a moderator on other channels. So it kind of, it's, it's, that's kind of hard too. Um, <laughs> I'm usually the one doing that, spelling it out slowly. Oh, that's so funny. Homogenized. How much? I'm not even saying it right. <laughs> Homo milk. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> well, thanks for coming, Belt Loop. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Homogenized. Homogenized milk. Did I say it right? Homogenized. See, not everyone can say words properly, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Homogenized. Homogenized? <laughs> what did Gladys say? Oh yeah, can you, yeah, you can you just slap it on your hand and eat it? Oh my gosh. And Miss Thelma last night. Did she not just crack you up? Just a southern girl? I almost died. <laughs> my gosh, she just took me right for a loop when she started commenting. Oh, homogenized. Homogenized. Yeah, that kind of milk. Oh, it was so fun last night. It was ridiculous. Like, it was ridiculous, I'm just saying. Like, we just had way, way, way too much fun. How about homogenized milk? Hey, Pamela. Close. <laughs> Thelma is a mess. Oh, my gosh, she was so funny. Oh, she just took me for a loop there. I had to, I just laughed so hard. Oh, I was like, here we go, folks. <laughs> Yeah, it was, oh, so fun. Hi, Miss Loretta, how are you? <laughs> it was such a good time. I'm just opening my cream cheese. I'm going to lower you down. I'll definitely lower you down. I'm going to mix this in with my whipping cream because I've got to do that. Oh, it was so fun. Hey. I just had such a good, I didn't want it to end. I just wanted to keep going and oh my gosh it was just such a good time such a good time i look forward to that i'm sure everybody had a lot of fun last night four syllable word each syllable word slowly that's why i just say homo milk <laughs> everybody knows what i'm saying that's what we just call it here that's how we just say it we don't say the whole word can you grab me some homo milk I call it full fat milk. That's what I call it. Hey, Miss Junk, how are you? That's what I call it, just full fat, because it's the, it's got the most stuff in it, right? So that's why I just say that. <laughs> See, we got our slang, eh? 
Oh gosh, poutine! Next time we'll make some poutine. Whole milk. Yeah, we say homo milk. That's what we say here in Canada. We don't say whole milk. I used to say full fat milk because that's what I started my son on. And then he was allergic to it, so then I had to give him 2%. So, <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's us Canadians, right? See, everybody's got certain words for certain things. I'm just saying. I just, hey, CJ, how are you? There's Seffy. Oh, so now you notify me. <laughs> Did you get a notification, Seth Cat? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alrighty. You better behave behaving in here. <laughs> that see, the YouTube police and belt loop are the same people, but different channels. Same guy, but different channel. <laughs> oh, too funny. Too funny. <laughs> That Seth cat's full of knowledge, I'm telling you. She was giving me the lowdown about apple cider vinegar. Just ha oh yeah, it's just it's crazy. I don't like oh, I don't think I could even drink apple cider vinegar with anything. I don't even know if I could use it on a salad. She gave me a like almost a recipe for a salad dressing. But that stuff is whew, wicked, wicked. But, like, uh, just a southern girl last night was talking about taking um, baking soda for heartburn. So, which does work. Like, it, for me, it takes a little time. Like, you burp like heck on it. But, almost, reci almost a recipe. <laughs> almost a recipe. <laughs> but my roommate had ordered empty capsules from Amazon. She makes her own vitamins, all that, that good stuff, and uh, capsules with baking soda in them as well. I got a couple, I think. I do. That she made, because she's got a machine that makes them. And this is just baking soda. How neat, right? Like she's got a stack of these things. It's about this thick, and she makes, orders her capsules, and she fills them. It is so cool, Michelle. I, I want to I wanna show you guys that thing. Like, I want her to, I'll show you how she does it. I'll get her to bring her stuff up here and show you how she makes these things. Like, it's insane. Like, it's insane. She may, Like, she'll come up here, and if I got heartburn or if I'm not feeling all that good, she's... She'll hand me a couple of capsules and I'll say like, what's that? And then she'll tell me what's in them. But she makes her own vitamins. She makes, uh, what is that other stuff called? There's some other stuff she makes and I can't remember the name of it. It's with a seed. Now I gotta figure it out now. So that might come to me when I, when I think about it more. So yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. Homestead in the area thought I, Confess, I can't recall. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't even know what you're talking about there, YouTube police. Sorry. I just mixed a couple of teaspoons of baking soda with some water and chug it. Yeah, you have to. Because it doesn't taste good. Oh, I do it over my sink or I do it over the toilet. Because <laughs> when I was way younger, I used to suffer from heartburn all the time. But my diet was like way out of control. So it was a lot of fried stuff and I drank a lot of pop back then and I don't do that now. So I'd have to do it over the sink or over the loo just in case I got sick. And then if it got too bad, I would just go in the washroom and make myself sick because I couldn't handle the pain anymore. It was like somebody was just stabbing me in the chest over and over again. So. Eight Susie Q's for dinner. What is that? What Susie? Is that a restaurant, Seffy? <clears throat> Eight Susie Q's for dinner. Gosh, that sounds like like a good time. Nope. <laughs> it's a meal. The 
the pros overweight the cons. Fish oil and flaxseed oil lowered my... So it went down, Southern girl? I've got flaxseed. I love that stuff. It tastes good. I could just wet my fingers, stick it in the bag, and... Oh, I like that flaxseed. It tastes good. It tastes so good. Fish oil? Ooh, I don't know if I can do fish oil. But I know my pro and prebiotic is doing me some good. Flaxseed is good for you. I love it. I like baking with it. I love it. Well, didn't I use flaxseed in one of my last recipes? I think I used flaxseed. It's in capsules. Okay. See, well, I've got... Like, I've got flaxseed in here. I could probably make some flaxseed capsules. Then I could take one of those every day or, <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, oh my gosh. If Got to leave for a few, be back soon. Okay, JP. So I'm going to lower you down and I'm going to mix in my cream cheese here. <laughs> And it's at room temperature. I'm just going to squish it a bit, but I'm going to lower you down so you can see what on earth I am doing. And I got my pineapple here. They say oyster oil is better. Oh gosh, I couldn't even. Chocolate cake with cream in it and squiggly sugar decorations on top. Oh. Hey, Janie Jane. Wow. Oysters. I don't even eat, eat oysters, but I don't know if I could do that. If it was a capsule or something, I probably could, but not just. I couldn't just whip uh, a teaspoon of oyster oil in my mouth. Oh, no. Nope. Couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. I would definitely get sick for sure for sure so I'm gonna whip my cream cheese in my uh, heavy whipping cream I also put confectioners sugar in here a three-quarter cup of that in here so I pre-made this so I'm just got enough to put in my cream cheese. I'm going to whip this in till it's nice and smooth. This shouldn't be too loud. And a simple dessert. I mean that it gives you a tummy, tummy ache eating. Okay. Doing that just for the fun of it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there, so that is nice and smooth. Okay. Now, stick that in there. I've got a can of chunks of pineapple which i'm going to drain in my cup because i will drink the juice there's really not much juice in here i don't think it doesn't look like it yeah there's barely any juice in here my gosh and these are chunks right oh this is crushed well it doesn't really matter what you use chunks crushed i'd rather use the smaller oh these are chunks well I'll just eat that later 
I do have a can of chunk, chunky pineapple. Give me a fork. There we go. Now we've got some juice. Pineapple juice is so good. Oh my gosh. So I only need a cup of this, which will go in here, and I will just fold the, the pineapple in here. So I'm going to open this. Ooh. Move that over. I have my cup somewhere. Here. Here, here, here. Man, I think I want to use this whole can. Never mind. Like a cup is not very much. I don't think. I'm using all of it. I'm going to use all of it because it's just a little can. So I'm just going to use all of it. And then I'm going to fold this in like so. I might, I might maybe put some uh, crushed pineapple on top, maybe. Like these are pretty big chunks. But pineapple and uh, whipped cream, oh, so good. I tried beet powder. Tastes like dirt. <laughs> Tastes like dirt. <laughs> oh, I've never tried beet. Hey, Zets, please. I've never tried uh, beet powder. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like dirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. That was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to move that one since I don't need it. Now I'm going to put it, oh gosh, where are we here? Can I lower this down a little bit more so you can actually see what on earth I'm doing? There we go. So I folded my pineapple into my whipped cream, my cream cheese, and confectioner's sugar. So I used an 8-ounce package of gluten-free you don't have to use gluten-free you can use the cream cheese of your choice uh eight ounce of uh whip topping usually a tub i made my own which is like three cups uh, a large can of uh pineapples drained three quarter cup of confectioner's sugar in here uh, a half a cup of pineapple chunks and i also got a half a cup of shredded coconut and for my crust, I used a cup and a half of graham crackers, a third cup of sugar, and a half a cup of melted butter. So now I'm going to put all of this in here. Oh my gosh, this is going to be good, you guys. Oh, I'm telling you. This is going to be delish. Simple, easy, if it's too hot out, you don't have to turn your oven on. It's ready in a few hours. You could have a barbecue, and then you could have dessert afterwards. I think would be very good. Very good, very good. And my stove cover, the one I put my um, sunflower on, well, let me tell you. So the heating gun, oh, this is thick. The heating gun that I had, I used a different heating gun. I don't know, this thing heats up to, I don't know, a million degrees, I think. I don't know. But I put my torch paste on it. Then I let it sit. I just let the, the torch paste sit on my stencil after I took it off or after before I took it off probably for about 20 minutes I just put it on and I left it came back took the stencil off and used my DeWalt heat gun well let me tell you 
Boof. Hey, Bigfoot King, thank you. Um, now I lost track of what I was saying. Jeez Louise. Oh, so the torch, uh, it's not the torch, the heating gun. My gosh. Hey, Helen, hon. I'm telling you, it took so fast. It was unreal. And the lines are nice and crisp. There's no, uh, like you have to, this gun, you have to really keep moving. I might have to show you guys because <laughs> it looks, it was, it was instant, like instant, like it was instant. I don't know. My pineapples seem like they're all off kilter here, but hey, it looks good. I'm telling you, I'm going to lick this. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use some of this crushed pineapple myself. You guys need to make this. Like, I am not kidding. <laughs> this is really good, Loretta. Just with the, the cream cheese in the whipping cream. I'm telling you. And I don't know if it's, even with it being, uh, glute, is it gluten-free? It's either gluten-free or low-fat. One of the two. Now you don't have the package. I threw it out. But holy cow, does it taste good. I have everything but the whipped cream. Oh my gosh, Southern girl. You guys would love, you'd love this because you're a cheese freak. You love cheese everything. Everything cheese. I don't know how you can. Well, you know, you could just put a little bit here and there. Like if you like pineapple, who doesn't like pineapple? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't like pineapple, but I'm telling you, this is tasty. You're going to so enjoy it. Oh, somebody please make this and tell me that you love it. <laughs> So I use the gluten-free cream cheese. I'm telling you, it tastes good. You can't even tell the difference. Hey, girl dad, how are you? Make you some of this, uh, girl dad. It's good. She's like, she's a cooker. She likes to cook. Southern girl cooks. She likes to cook. Everybody likes to cook. And you don't have to turn your oven on. That's the great thing. And you can have it done in about like 15 minutes. Put it in the fridge, watch a movie, have a nap, get up, and it's like, hey, you know what? I've got cake in the fridge. Check this out. Just a little bit of extra. Just, a, you know, pineapple's good for you. Oh, it's, oh, it's so good. Now I'm going to put a little bit of coconut on it. And then I am going to chill it. For a few hours. And then everyone can have a piece of this. I know my roommate will be digging in this, like, well, not when she gets home because it won't be ready. But she could have a piece before she goes to bed. So I'm going to use all this coconut. It's only a half a cup and it's shredded uh, coconut. Please hit that thumbs up and share. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Hey, Vicki. How are you, sweetheart? Every day needs a little slim twiggy. It makes you feel included. <laughs> I love all my people. I love them all. I love them all. I got some pretty good friends on here. There we go. Easy. Peasy. This I will put in a container and I will drink this pineapple juice. But look at that, y'all. <laughs> look at Doesn't that look delicious? It looks so good. Can't go wrong with chocolate ever. I'm not a, I like chocolate. I want to make an Oreo dirt cake. 
Someone told me to make that. That's a lot of chocolate, but oh my gosh, I had a han hankering for Oreos that one day, and I'm telling you, I couldn't get enough. Oh, but looks, it looks delish. It's just in a small pan, just a square pan. You can use the longer pan if you want to. I didn't want to use that one because that's like, that's a lot. So it does look so good. It does look so good. Oh, but it's not overly sweet, even with this uh, cream cheese and even the confectioner's sugar that's in the heavy whipping cream. So that's just enough just to make that whipping cream sweet enough. It's not over sweet. I always say that. I don't like to go too, too sweet myself. Do that next, please. <laughs> CJ. Oh, gosh, well, I have to get my stuff. So if you want, I can I can make an Oreo. This has got to be gone before I make an Oreo dirt cake. I'm telling you, because that's a lot of sweet stuff in here. I'm telling you. This looks really good. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, this shouldn't last too, too long, I don't think. But I like pineapple. I really like it. I love it. Sardines. Oh. No, you can't be, uh, can't be doing that. Oh, I don't think I could eat a sardine. Salmon. I'm a big salmon freak. I love salmon. Out of a can. But I couldn't drink the juice out of it, though. Oh, no. If I'm doing any oil, like uh, like a fish oil, it would have to be a capsule. Hand mixer like that for 30 years, but have been thinking about buying myself a regular. I've got one, uh, Pamela. But just like for my whipped cream that I make, I use my big mixer just to fold in some cream cheese. I'll just use my little one. I've had this thing forever. It works like a hot darn. But the new ones now, like these, like it's dirty, but these are like thick. Like these things are thick. Now the new ones, they're like thin, like thin pieces of metal. And it's like, oh my gosh, aren't those going to bend? I've seen them. It's kind of neat. Toast some coconut for the top of that dessert. Pure heaven. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't do that. No, I didn't do that. But I can't wait to try this. Oh gosh, I'm telling you. So I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge, and we're gonna have some cake. I'm telling you, we're gonna have some cake. We're gonna have some cake. But yeah, when I seen that recipe, I thought, like, how easy is that? Just if you want a little bit of a sweet on the weekend. Okay, don't push it, Bigfoot King. <laughs> Just saying. Toast it. Well, I could torch it. <laughs> I could get my torch out or the heat gun. <laughs> Hit that like button. Thank you. Oh, that stuff's so good. The coconut juice is good. What did Miss Junk say? could add green green food coloring to the goop oh yeah like to, yeah you can make like if you can even color your whipped cream if you want to you don't have to keep it white yes torch it slim should I <laughs> should I should I torch it <laughs> well you never know what just this other girl right <laughs> torch it oh gosh <laughs> uh, no just jokes <laughs> just kidding okay i won't torch it no i won't torch it well you never know right <laughs> torch it get your heat gun out let's let's do this <laughs> yes torch it look at there now you got helen going <laughs> i like it might brown i could try just torch one piece I'll, okay I'll go get my torch. I'll be right back. I'll do a tiny piece of it. Now, where's my torch? Okay, got a little bit of stuff in my torch. Okay, well, I got 
I'll do a tiny piece and see if it'll work. I see smoke. <laughs> well, we might see something. <laughs> I'll try this. I'll just see how it goes. If I, well, because I've got my pineapple on top too, right? Okay, well, I'll do a piece where there's no. Okay, I'll turn you down so you can see. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring you in closer. So, like, you're right here and you can see exactly what's happening. Oh, gosh, I need to bend this down a bit. There. Okay, so now you're sort of up close and personal now. That's my recipe. Okay, I'm going to do like right here in this area. And I don't have it on high flame. It's just on low flame. Not my fault if it don't work. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, this is... This ought to be good. Right, Zed? Right? Okay. You know my address. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay, it's just a bit. Okay, if I keep my torch moving... I don't know what it's going to taste like, though. I'm going to turn, turn it up a bit. Hey? <laughs> okay, here we go. I turned up my flame. But I'm just going to keep my gun moving. My torch gun, I mean. My, t my torch? I'll just say my torch. Oh my gosh, I don't know what you can say on here and what you can't. They might take it the wrong way. So I'm just browning. I don't have very... Well, I don't... Well, it's a half a cup of coconut though, right? And then I gotta flip it back into the fridge. So it's pretty quick. Doesn't look too bad. Well, from the, my iPad, it just looks like little specks or something on there. Does it look okay? Can you guys see it? So that should be enough torching, shouldn't it? Do I need to torch more? She getting brave. <laughs> it's not too bad. Put mini marshmallows on it and torch. I don't have any mini marshmallows, Seth Cat. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll have a bunch of stuff on here. <laughs> here, put this on there. Seth Cat, you're so funny. But there. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's why I put it, uh, I just let it sit, uh, Pamela. Yeah, that's why I just let it sit. That's what uh, Southern Girl told me to do. Just leave it alone, don't touch it, and walk away. So I just left it. I just left it probably about, probably about 20, 25 minutes. So it worked pretty good. Just that some of them, how's your popcorn plant doing? There's my popcorn plant. It's kind of turning brown on the edges. I don't know why. I spray it. I water my plants once a week, but I spray this one just with a uh, mist of water. But it's growing. Like, it's growing. It's doing good. It's growing. This one I planted different than my other one. Because the other one... I had put, oh my gosh, I don't know how many seeds I put in a pot, something like this, not much bigger, and it was thick all the way around. I had that thing outside, 
because it takes full, well, they say full sun, but not like extreme heat. So I had this sitting in front of my window, which is full sun, but my window gets so hot, I have to shut my curtains because I think it's too much heat that's coming to my plant. So, but it's doing good. Do you have city water? Oh yes, Cindy, we do. We have city water, yeah. But we don't have uh, we don't have a lot of chlorine in our water like some people do, which is good. I drink bottled water. I usually don't drink this water. I have drank it. It doesn't taste bad to me. It doesn't taste bad, but. If so, the chemicals will affect the plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. I planted hollyhocks in my backyard. And they, what was just in a little pot this big, I put those in there last year. So they started coming up. Holy cow, those things are taller than I am now. It's crazy. Put cauliflower in. Oh, wow. You know what I want to get for my dogs is... Uh, not like a, uh, there's something you can put in their water to take all that gook out. It's, I don't know if it's like a salt lick or something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Thousand watch torch at 300. Works best with torch paste. I used my gun, my heat gun, Pamela. I don't know how much it is for the heat, but it worked perfect. My little torch. This little sucker, man, I'm telling you. Well, it's got paint all over it because I use it when I paint pour. This thing works like a hot darn. So I will, I just like to experiment with certain tools. I won't just say, okay, if you told me to use this, well, I won't. I won't use it. I'm going to try something different. So from this to the heat gun I bought, my heat gun's not hot enough. It is for some stuff. It probably would be for painting to bring out cells in my paint. But that other one that I'm using works fantastic. Have to let it set for a half hour to settle. What are we talking about, Cindy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I gather a lot of, oh, I've got hollyhock seeds. I've got some other seeds in my my drawer here. I want to take all the, uh, hey, Shirley. I want to take all the dirt that's in my flower bed out here because it's, it's dead dirt. It's got nothing in it. Nothing. You can't grow nothing in it, period. So I want to take all that dirt out and I want to put fresh dirt in it and I want to at least plant something out front but I need something that likes the heat but the only crappy thing is is I can't reach my garden hose because my garden hose is at the back and my light keeps going kind of wonky so I don't have a, a place to put a garden hose out here for my front yard it's ridiculous it's ridiculous oh gosh as soon as I move maybe if I get under this light if I get to the right spot and don't move I'm okay so yeah, it's kitty dirt. Ooh, yeah. Well, I've got the neighbor's cats going in there and then I gotta go clean it out. And it's, I wanna just, what I was thinking was just covering it with that black mesh, like for weeds, and then putting um, mulch on top of it and then just decorating it that way with fake stuff. Like just fake, like a couple fake flowers and stuff. But, hi, Kimberly Rose. So, yeah. But make you some of this cake. Oh, it looks so good. The cream cheese and stuff, it tastes delish. It tastes delish. Like, I mean, I wouldn't steer you wrong. I'm serious. I wouldn't. I wouldn't steer you wrong. It tastes divine. Divine. Hi to everybody out there who's not in chat. How are you? I hope you're having a great, great Saturday. Hanner? Is that how you say it? Hanner? Is that how we say it? Raised flower beds. Wouldn't do me any good. 
in the front yard or the backyard, Sefcat. I've got a wolf dog, don't forget. I have a dog in my lap. Oh, is it Bay? Little Bay Bay? My wolf dog will get on anything. Surely, girlfriend. It's good to hear you laugh and see good food. Oh my gosh, Shirley, I'm going to do a video just me eating that thing. <laughs> it looks, it, it tastes good. I just haven't had the whole thing yet. No, Hannah's sick. Oh. I was thinking about the pup southern girl. Hi, Marlene. How are you? Thank you, Shirley. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. How come I can't hit the... Oh, look it. I got to hit the like button. I was trying to figure that out on Steven's live. It's like, how the heck does he does that? Because the last time I couldn't do it. And it was irritating me. It's like, why can he and I can't? <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> 52 watching. Please thumb up. Yeah, let's just not say that too much, Cindy, because you get, you get a little nervous, right? Well, I don't know. Doesn't some of these people get nervous when there's like 500 people watching them? Like, oh my gosh, I think I'd lose my stuff. If I seen like even 100, I'd, I was like, okay, well, I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I try not to look at that, but I do look to see how many are here. So I appreciate everybody coming. I really do. Don't look. I don't look. I know you don't look. I know. I know. Because if you get on a topic and then all of a sudden you look, then you get off your topic and you kind of freak out in your own head for a little while. But I hope somebody tries this. This is very simple. You can make it low calorie as much as you want, or you can go for the full shebang. Some people can do that, right? <laughs> I wish I was one of them, but I'm not. And I've, well, I like to eat full fat stuff too, but I just, just in a little increments, nothing crazy. Oh yes, make it, Southern girl, make it. Oh, like just with that cream cheese for um, gluten-free, I'm surprised. I was thinking, it's like, oh, I don't think this is gonna taste the same as the full cream cheese. Oh, I mopped the floor for my cow, okay. I did all that the other day, Friday. Oh my gosh. You should have seen me in my driveway on Friday afternoon. What a sight that was. I had to move my car. Well, I had to go to the store. I had to pick up a bunch of stuff because I had to get stuff for Brooke. So I thought, okay, so my dishes weren't done. My vacuuming wasn't done. I had wolf dog hair all over my floor as I do every day because he sheds. So... Hi, Mona. How are you? So I moved the car, ran to Walmart, did my thing. And the <laughs> only, Lena, and the only thing I forgot to pick up was um, craft dinner. I lost my stuff to, uh, what? I lost my stuff a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Now, see, now I lose... I lose uh, sight of what I was saying. So I forgot craft dinner, but that's okay. I can go tomorrow and get that. Then I come home, just park my car at the end of my driveway because I'm going to move all the snow that's over here right by my fence. And I mean from that snowstorm that I put a, a short out. You should have seen how much. Lena, that's enough. You should see how much snow we had out there. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I was out there for a few hours yesterday. I'm telling you. I should have videoed that because someone, some people I'm sure would have got a good laugh. But I got it done. But did that ever kick my butt? Because my snowblower is not very big. And it's electric. It's not one of these big high power gas ones where I could just do one swipe and I'm good. No, I don't have one of those. Not yet. I might invest in one of those, depending, because our winter, this is our best winter we've had so far. What it tastes like if you take it. No, you're not going to, you, you won't, you, no, you won't. Okay, Southern girl, you won't taste it. 
uh, Pamela. You, I did my uh, my egg whites with my torch. You could not taste butane at all. You couldn't taste butane at all. That's what these things are for. That's what these are for. Like even when I ordered this off Amazon, this is to do the, this is for cooking, this sucker. It's not for painting. What the heck is that noise? Sound like there was a gunshot going off there. Oh, it must have been just my neighbor putting down his hood. So yeah, you won't taste the, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Oh, where are snows melting? Our roads are all slushy. We went from minus 39 to, what did it go to? Minus 39. So that was Thursday. It wasn't too, too bad. It was still cold Thursday. I didn't go out. But Friday, plus one. It's like, that's such a drastic change. Drastic change. Drastic change. I'm not even paying Mona. Oh, surely saying hi. So yeah, someone make this. I can't wait to try it. I'm very excited to try it myself. It's very easy and simple. If I can, ooh, if I can bring something to you that's simple and you're not spending a ton of time in the kitchen, perfect. I guess I should start making some healthier stuff. Maybe, eh? Oh, gosh. They use those torches in restaurants. Right, Helen. Yep. Yep. I haven't seen snow in so long. Forgot what it looks like. Well, come on down, Shirley. I've got, still got lots. <laughs> I still got, if I could just send some, that would be neat. That would be neat. That would be neat. I still got a ton of snow in the back. Like even in my dog pen, I had to make out a, well, not a path, but an area where they could go. Like, my wolf dog just jumps the fence, and he'll go into the back. He usually has two spots that he goes to in the back. And then my pen, if my gate is shut, my old English will use that. She won't go in the yard if it's shut, if the gate's shut. But then we have another little one. He'll just go wherever he wants. He doesn't care. He'll just go wherever. I had shorts on all week. Oh, my gosh. I'll be wearing hat and gloves tomorrow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I wish I could send you some, Shirley. Like, how cool would that be? Oh, my gosh. If I could just send out some snow. You're going to taste that or not? I'm not going to dig. Are you talking to me, Vicki? I'm not going to dig into it right now. No. It's got to chill, they say, for about four hours. So I'm just going to let it sit. Should I? Should I dig into it? I'd like to, but I'd like to, but I'd like it to firm. I got like sticky stuff all over my elbow from my counter here. Would love to see my wiener dog in it. Oh yeah. My uh, sister's uh, cats love, they love the snow. They love the snow. Next week, I'm going in to get a haircut. I got to get all this. I got way too much of it. I can't do nothing with it. It's hard to curl. A tiny bite. Okay, Vicki. Okay. I will just for you. I will just for you. <laughs> oh, gosh. You made me do it. You made me do it. Okay. Do you want to see me cut it too, Vicki? Cause I'll show ya. I show ya. I might have to use a spoon to get this out. Oh yeah, she's soft. Okay, I'll just do a little bit. Max, you can't have any of this. Yeah, cause it's pretty soft. Like it's really soft. want to make sure I got it. Mm. Yeah, because it's pretty soft. Come on. 
slime in there. Yeah, it is so, so soft. It's way too soft. I think it's way too soft to eat myself. I'd like it firmer. I would like it firmer. Ooh. Yeah, I would like it firmer myself. Mm. Oh my gosh, ganache. Yeah, it tastes delish. Yeah, but it does need to be, um, it does need to be firmer. It's way too soft. It's, I think it's way too soft myself, for myself. And I'd like it colder. Mm. Oh. But it's really good. Like once everything sits and marinates together, would be way better. The cream cheese will definitely firm up. Yes, ma'am. And I think that's what needs, that's what needs to happen. Yeah, because I think it's too soft. For me, it's not cold enough. I like my fruit cold. I can't eat warm fruit. It is really, really good, Marlene. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. With this gluten-free cream cheese. Oh, yeah. But even with the pure, the real, or I don't know, I call it the real cream cheese. The full calorie cream cheese would probably taste way richer than this. So myself, I think I would prefer it gluten-free for myself. But yeah, it, it does need to sit in the fridge a little bit longer for a few more hours, yeah. But with the graham cracker bottom, it's very, very good. It's not overly sweet, it's just right. And it's refreshing. Mm-hmm. I like it so, well, this would be good for you then, Gladys. <laughs> this would be perfect. Well, and see, and that it does it, that is like true, Gladys, too, right? Some folks, <coughs> Lena, <coughs> Lena, don't, Lena, stop, don't have, <coughs> Lena, <coughs> give me a second. I'm gonna put her outside. Out, let's go. I don't know what you guys are barking for. It's just my uh, my neighbor. She can't see out of the window because I've got my window covered with um, a blocking there. It lets light in, but you can't see through it. So whoever's walking around in my house, I can have my curtains open at night, and all they see is from the neck up. So, but yeah, this is... Oh, that's my dog, uh, Mona. Or is there Alina in here? Yeah, her, my dog's name is, her real name is called Halia. She just turned nine. She just turned nine last month. Hi, bearded granny. How are you, hon? I made some dessert. And it's really, really good, bearded granny. She cracks me up. She makes me laugh. She's a funny woman. Her comment made me laugh last, was that yesterday? Last night. <laughs> when she talked about nodding off there. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny what she said. This is really good, Bearded Granny. You don't have to turn on your new stove for this. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Good summer. This is good anytime. It doesn't even have to be in the summer. Oh my gosh. But also with like this, eating it just like this right away. I don't know if there's people out there. My mom used to be like that sometimes. 
she'd take her dentures up because she wouldn't want to take them out because she wouldn't want to mess them up with food. This would be a perfect dessert to eat it right away instead of it putting it in the fridge for a few hours. This would be perfect, like perfect. This would be perfect. But it's really good. It's not overly sweet. I hope somebody makes it and loves it because it's so good. So good. I'm glad I made it because it tastes delicious. It's very refreshing. I'm sure you don't even have to use just pineapple. You could use anything. Blueberries, raspberries. You could use your favorite fruit. It wouldn't matter. Like I know I seen a lady make a cake one time and she had all kinds of fruit on top with the whipped cream. Oh, but it was like a white cake, a, a, a white box cake. And then her cream on top and then fruit all, excuse me, all over the place. It looks so good. It looked very, very good. Sister calling. Okay, Shirley. But yeah, try this. This is this is really good. Oh my gosh, my hair is so long I can barely handle it. It's just making me sick. Like it comes down way down here and I just can't handle it. If I could cut it myself, I'd have my scissors in my hand right now. I just can't handle it. It's brutal. But I got my coffee in my farmhouse cup. I'm having a coffee. I got to sleep in today till about 7 o'clock, so that was good. So is it nice where everybody is? Well, Michelle's getting snow tomorrow. Are you still getting rain, Southern girl? Did my chat freeze? I know people were having issues yesterday with their phones. Am I still live? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like a lot of people were having problems with their phones. Am I still am I still going here? I must be. Like, did my chat freeze? Oh, there we go. Beautiful day today. Oh, good. Now it's getting cold now. Are you guys getting a storm, Southern Girl? Will you be? Because there was storms out there. Or Georgia Way or whatever. Yeah, some people are getting storms and some aren't. Horrible weather here. Oh. Oh, the sun is shining. <laughs> Vicky. <laughs> yeah, she hates the sun. That's so funny. Yeah. Horrible weather here. It's hot and sunny. <laughs> okay, Loretta. Get some rest, hun. Thanks for coming. Georgia had a... Oh, did they really, Cindy? Holy cow. No, it's gone now. I've no oh I was watching YouTube was it last night? I can't even last night or yesterday last night or I don't know. It was yesterday sometime and they Mississippi was had some crazy weather. Cause I watched those storm chasers on YouTube and it's like, oh my gosh. They get some wicked weather out there, and it's just like, what? I couldn't even deal with it, I don't think. This oatmeal cake isn't good now. Oatmeal cake? I've never even heard of it. There is a cake that I've had with, I know it's got rolled oats in it, and I think it's dates. Is it dates? Or something in the middle. It's nice and chewy. It's gooey. It's really good, but I can't remember the name. Date cake? I can't even remember the name of it. Man, that stuff's good. That stuff's good. Put some whipped cream on cake. I want yours. <laughs> this one's really good. You need to make some. You need to get some uh, whipped cream. Yes, Southern Girl, make some. It's really good. Like, it's so good. I bet you can't just have one piece. I'm just saying, oh, it's so good. It is so good. Like this stuff is really, I'm, I'm a little floored myself. Like I like looking at this no bake stuff and what you can make and it's like, oh, like how is that going to taste? But it's good. I made homemade lemon curd last week. I've never had that. 
I've never had lemon curd. Like, excellent. I've never even had white gravy. Like they do have at Dairy Queen. I don't know if we have white gravy here at RDQ. I don't know. But next time I go there, I'm going to find out. You guys make white gravy here? Well, they do in Georgia, you know. <laughs> like, what the heck? Because I would probably have a poutine with white gravy. Like, our KFC gravy used to be great. Yes, ma'am. I hear you, Southern girl. No white gravy. No white gravy? No white gravy. No. No! I don't think we have white gravy here. Right? So I'm going to find out. Next time I go there, I'm going to ask them, do you have white gravy here? And if they say no, I'll say, well, what's up with that? They do here, here, and here in the States. So why don't we have it? We should have a choice if we want it or not. Yep, yeah, make lots of, lots of, see? I don't even know what white gravy tastes like. My mom used to make cream of um, peas, cream of carrots. It was in a white sauce, but it wasn't gravy. I know that for a fact. So I know that's not white gravy. I don't think. Make your own. It's easy. I don't even know how to, Helen. Send me a recipe. Somebody send me a recipe for, yes, you can make it. Well. No white gravy, and but it can be hard to make, I would think. I wouldn't even know, CJ. I've never even made it in my life. But I like to experiment with others, other people's food to see if I would like it. Like, I've had cornbread before. I've made cornbread before. I like cornbread. Butter, flour, and milk. Oh, that's it? Well, how easy is, to, yeah, but how much of what, how much of butter, send me your recipe, uh, Southern girl, because I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it and see if I like it. I've never had butter, flour, and milk. I wonder if that's the same stuff my mom would make or drippings from meat. I make my gravy from drippings from meat. A, a beef gravy. How is that possible? <laughs> <It's> like, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. It's like everybody cooks so differently and it's amazing. Like it's amazing. Bacon grease. Oh, I might have to pass on that. I might have to pass on the bacon grease. Like, even, like, some gravies, too, if they're too rich. I got to be careful, because then it just turns my guts inside out. Bacon or sausage? I would like to really try that with French fries and uh, cheese, because that's all poutine is. You cook your French fries, you put your shredded cheese on. It's usually, it's usually mozzarella. And then you pour your gravy on and it melts your cheese and it makes it like, it's stringy, right? When you eat it. Yeah, us Canadians were famous for the poutine. So, bacon grease makes awesome fried potatoes. Oh yes, in a cast iron frying pan. Yeah, my mom used to make those all the time. Use turkey sausage. I don't think I've had turkey sausage either. You could use chicken bouillon to give it a mild taste. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's my problem, too. Eat too much gravy. <laughs> the only time we eat gravy is, like, if I make a roast, then I'll make gravy for the potatoes. But we don't eat gravy much here at all. Or uh, hamburger steak. Then it's hamburger steak. But our hamburger steak, 
we put on a piece of bread. Nice fresh bread, butter it, your hamburger steak smothered in gravy, and then your potatoes and then your veg. So I'm not fond of white sauce, I wonder. I'm, you see, I don't, yeah, like, I don't know if that's the same stuff my mom, maybe it is. But she used to make some white kind of stuff in the vegetables. I hated it. I didn't even eat it. I didn't like it. Because it really didn't have a taste to it. It was, but she called it cream of whatever it was on the vegetables. Cream of peas, cream of carrots. Oh, I, I didn't care for it myself. I had that in grad school. Huh. Yeah, like our, our steak is, like our hamburger steak is on bread. That's how we make it here. Or if you don't want the bread, then it's just the burger. And then, like we get ours pre-made with uh, peppers and stuff inside it. So, but I got to watch with those too. I love peppers. I could eat those suckers raw. But I want to make stuffed peppers and I've never made them before. I know I, I know how to make them, but I just haven't made them. Great school in the in the lunch room. I was gonna say in the bathroom in the lunch room. Yeah, I like the way others cook. Like it's so interesting. It's so interesting. Have you had chicken fried steak? No, ma'am. No. You can get packs of white gravy. Yes, I think so. Country gravy is awesome. You should make stuffed peppers though. That's too. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, I'm not cooking tonight. I'm telling you that. I made cake. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I made cake. I don't even care for Alfredo sauce. I don't mind it, JP. But even with... um. Uh, Like the, like the beef Alfredo, when you make it from like your own, like your noodles and blah, 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 and then your sauce. I think I'd rather have the cans, or not the can sauce, ours come in jars, than make it from scratch. Because when I make it from scratch, I find it too rich. Like it tastes like really good, but hey, Hawaii! I find it too rich and that just makes my stomach go ballistic. Like it's too rich because if there's cornstarch in it, oh, I can't handle it. I just can't handle it. I like homemade hamburger helper instead of the box. I'd rather make it myself. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I eat so simple. I don't use much spices in my stuff at all like i'm just i'm so plain jane when it comes to food i'm telling you so plain jane i usually don't add salt in my food when i'm cooking because you add salt when you dish up so i do not even use salt alfredo and white gravy is not the same oh gosh no i don't think so <laughs> i have no room to talk i don't think i've ever have i'm gonna go look I'm going to look at our grocery store and see if we have white gravy. And if it's the same stuff, then that's the stuff my mom used to make. That box stuff will make you croak. <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> right? Homemade's always better. That's the Canadian way. Plain and easy, but very good. Yep, plain and easy. Well, you know, some of us Canadians cook differently, and some of us Canadians just... Can't cook. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind cooking. I don't mind cooking. But I'd rather make a homemade, uh, like a stroganoff or whatever, than go buy it. I With my own sauce, is what I mean. Instead of all that bought stuff. I'd rather make my own. I'd rather just make my own. Homemade hamburger helper instead of the box stuff. Like the boxed uh, potatoes and stuff. Um, what are those potatoes? Not, um, oh, what are they called? Where you thin the potatoes really thin. And then you got a sauce in there. And what are those called? Scallop potatoes. You won't catch me eating that stuff 
at all out of a box. Nope. And no. I'd rather make my own with cream and onions and potatoes. Oh, it's way better than out of a box. A. Eh? <laughs> right, JP? A. <laughs> eh? <laughs> oh God, you guys, y'all are funny. See, I said it fast enough so it sort of kind of sounded normal, didn't it? Y'all. <laughs> I just laugh at myself when I hear myself say that. You all are crazy. <laughs> I just laugh. That's so funny. Oh, too funny. Oh, that was a typo. Okay. Yeah, we don't eat much gravy here either. Mm -mm. Thanksgiving, like a good turkey gravy? Oh, yeah. Scalloped. <laughs> yeah, no. I like scalloped potatoes if I make them myself, but not out of the box. They don't even, you can't even compare it at all. At all. I think I made those a couple of times. I had my girlfriend's, uh, she's my friend and she's a girl. She's my girlfriend. I grew up with her. She had a deadly recipe and I had it and I used to make her recipe all the time. So good. So good. I haven't made them in a while. I might have to make some scalloped potatoes soon. So, and when they started making that crap in the box, that's why a lot of us are sick of the crap. Yeah, that box stuff. Yeah. Box mashed potatoes. I couldn't eat that either. I couldn't eat that. I couldn't eat that either. We eat uh, like a, we get usually the the red potatoes here. We get from uh, I don't. He's not Amish. What is he? He's not Amish. He's something like that, but he's not Amish. And we get all our vegetables from him. We get our eggs from him, fresh uh, chicken eggs. Like, and these eggs are big. And we get the double box. Like, sometimes we'll get like seven or eight double, like 18 packs of eggs. Huge big bag of potatoes. Oh, gosh. Carrots, peas, rhubarb, pies. But their pies are different than how we make them. They don't have all that crap in their flour either. So they're finicky. I don't I don't like cooking them because I can't really cook them right. Either the, the crust is kind of way too cooked and then the innards are still frozen. But, oh, we get a lot of stuff from him. And it's so good. Bye, Mona. Thanks for coming in, hon. But this stuff is like really good. Holy cow. I'm telling you, it's really good. Mennonite. Are they Mennonite? No, nope, not Mennonite here, Helen. Oh, there's another one. What is he? Not Amish. Not, not Mennonite. I'm not in the States, don't forget, though. I don't know if they even have these ones over there. What on earth is it? Bigfoot King, are you still on there? What what is uh what is Josh? Joshua, he is what is he? I gotta go tend to have okay, Southern girl. Oh, I can't not Amish, not Mennonite. Oh, there's another one we have here. I can't remember. I can't remember. But they, they grow all their stuff, everything. So we usually don't, we barely buy eggs at the grocery store. We barely buy vegetables at the grocery store. Because we get it all from him. Man, I wish I could remember. I know his name, but you have Quakers, Quackers, Quakers. You have Quakers. What is earthquakes, Seth? Is that what you're saying? What do you mean, Sephi? Quakers. 
I don't even know what a Quaker is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <sighs> oh my gosh, I wish I could remember. Religious group. Well, I don't know. I don't know about Quakers. I don't know about that. We have a lot of religious people here. A lot of Catholics we have here. There's all kinds of religion here. All kinds. All kinds. A lot of the um, the Filipinos I see go to, oh, they are like Mennonite. Oh, Quaker Oats. <laughs> right, Zed? <laughs> Somebody who's on my, my brainwave there. Well, that's what I was thinking. Quaker, like Quaker Oats or Earthquakes or Quackers? Quakers? <laughs> See? <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> oh man. I wish I could remember what this Joshua guy is. These guys wear, do they wear, they wear the black hats. They wear blue or black pants. But their shirts are, they can be, different colors they don't stick to like a blue or like the Amish wear a certain color right I can't remember what the heck he is but he's sweet he's a really sweet gentleman I watch your Catholic mass out of Toronto is that right JP wow I'm probably not the right spelling <laughs> Not Amish. Hmm. <laughs> I can't remember. They're not Amish. They're not Amish. They're not. You know what? Now I'm going to remember after. When my live is done, I will remember the name. Mennonite in the States. Yeah, they're not Amish. They're oh, it's something else. They call them here. The, these, this particular group of folks are called something different. Quack. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, like I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here, let me Google not Amish people. <laughs> Thank you, Zed. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. I can't remember what he is and like, oh, what group he belongs to. But we know him. We've met his dad. <laughs> I'm just being funny. I know, Cindy. I don't take anything to heart. That's what a life's for, eh? It's just to let your hair down. Have a few laughs. Like, look at me, Matt. I like, I laugh at everything. I laugh at everything if I think it's funny. Heck, if it's not supposed to be funny, please tell me that it's not supposed to be funny. Because oh. holy cow. I'd hate to be laughing when it's not funny. But that's how I am, right? I can laugh just about at anything. If you're doing something silly and if it makes you laugh, guaranteed it's going to make me laugh. For sure. <laughs> well, they're back. Hi, Anne. How are you? I like to laugh. Oh, gosh, me too. What's Joshua? What is he? Joshua. Joshua. Hutterite. Hutterites. That's what he is. Hutterite. Not Mennonite. Hutterite. That's what we have here. Well, there's Hutterites and Mennonites, but Joshua was a Hutterite. He's not a Mennonite. You gotta laugh. I know, right? You gotta laugh. Life's too short for this. Uh... Can you hear all the noise going on in here? <laughs> my gosh. The, it's the best. Okay, Lena, I put you outside for a reason. Wolfie caught a neighbor. <laughs> Wolfie got uh, lit in the house is what happened. But it's not him that makes all the ruckus. It's her. He makes the ruckus outside, and when he comes in, he's quiet. It's my sheepdog that makes the ruckus in and out. That one. 
I am having major surgery on the 13th. Oh my gosh. I'd say that's very major. <laughs> Lena, I said enough. Gosh, I couldn't even imagine. That's serious. Everything will go just fine, Anne. It'll, everything will go just fine. Yeah, everything will go just fine. Everything will go fine. Sometimes that, that freaks me out when people tell me stuff like that. Because uh, I don't know how to take it right. And then it kind of freaks me out. But it'll all be good. It'll all be good. It'll all be good. It'll all be good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Scary stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's scary stuff. I get it. Uh, that would stress me right out. See, stuff like that freaks me out, and then I don't know how to react to it, right? And then I end up saying something stupid. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Good. Hubby wants to watch mass. Okay, JP. Not a problem, hun. Thanks for coming in. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I had fun. So I've been on for an hour and a half. I don't have to take up your whole afternoon, but this is really good, you guys. Love you too, JP. This is so good. So good. Yes, definitely someone make this. This is really good. Everybody make it. Everybody. I'm so used to any medical issues doesn't even phase me. Yeah, see me, uh like I know there's a lot of people going through a lot of stuff. Like a lot. And it's so sad. It's so sad. Off you go. Out. Out. Stay out of the kitchen. Yeah, that's just um. Yeah, and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, hun. You're gonna be fine. It's all gonna be good. You're gonna be okay. I'm making that tomorrow. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, make it. Oh, they'll love it. They'll love it. They'll love it. They'll ask you for some more. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. But yeah, maybe I'll just slip off here. I've been on for an hour and a half. I don't have to be on here for two hours. I just appreciate everybody coming on and looking at what I'm making. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I wanted to make something. I had a craving for a little bit of something, but I didn't know what. And then I played with my uh, stove cover, and I put a, a piece of wheat on my cover. You want to go get me that cover? It's in my craft room. Because I use that big heat gun. So I used the heat gun. Well, I'm telling you, it worked out really good. It's just that the stencil is just so small, right? It's not, like, massive. Now, I didn't even sand. The turner table? The no, table. that. Yeah. Okay, give me that thing. <laughs> so I did this little... Here just with the gun and I didn't even sand that off and this is already stained can you guys see that oh my god so I did that with ooh, with the heat gun and it worked out cool have you heard anything about Anna 
no. Uh, Vicky, I said, uh, I, I said, you should, uh, just keep, uh, keep watching, uh, just a Southern Girls channel. She's the one who, uh, who gets all the information on Anna on how she's doing and such. So, me, I don't hear nothing unless I am told from her. But just keep watching just a Southern Girls, like her posts, she'll post or whatever. If she's talked to her, she'll post on her community page on how she's doing and stuff. Or she might even put out a video. I don't know. She did the last time, but she keeps in contact with her. So, okay, good. Yeah, I don't hear anything in, unless she tells me how she's doing. Otherwise, I have no idea. She doesn't contact me herself, like Anna doesn't contact me. But I'm just saying. So, but yeah, but yeah, just check her, her, her community page and stuff. She'll post on how she's doing. So I'm not sure how she is. I haven't heard nothing yet. So I don't know. You made it nice after. Thank you, uh, CJ. Now I'll watch the other Canadian YouTuber, Nova Scotia Living. Oh, I love you Canadians. Oh, thanks, CJ. Thanks. Like, we're good people. We're friendly. You're very welcome, Helen. So, yeah. So, you did see me try this out, and my plate is empty, and it's really good. It's really good. So, now I got to fill up my dish sink here, and I got to do my dishes. But I'm glad you all came. I'm glad you all came. I had a fun afternoon. I had a fun afternoon. So it's so it was nice. So I hope you guys have a nice rest of your night. You never know, someone else might be live again tonight. Who knows? That's what I do. I'll sit on my couch for a few hours and it's like, oh my gosh, somebody go live. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored. I want to go and chat and talk to everybody and stuff. So I didn't use spices either when I go to my kid's house. Yeah, me neither, Michelle, because they add their own salt, right? So I just, I don't even bother. Sometimes I do. Do it. What am I doing? <laughs> Seth, you make me laugh. Oh my gosh. Do it. I don't know. I don't think I'll go live again tonight. I enjoy seeing you. Oh, thank you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I have an inkling there might be a live tonight. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know I did that one week. I was bored, and I think it was a Wednesday. I never go live at night, ever. But I thought I'd go on and just to see what everyone was doing. So it was. I think I was on for about an hour. Because I was bored out of my head, and I just like to see what everyone's up to. I see a lot of these people from Monday to Friday. That's the thing. Like, we're always in the loop with each other, right? So that's the fun part. That's the fun part. But yeah, I'll get off here. Bye, Terry. Thanks for coming. Oh, is he? Okay. Well, it depends on how late it is, though. Like, if it's 8 o'clock my time and 10 o'clock his time, then I'll be there. But if he goes on at midnight, I'm going to be sleeping. Because that's way too late for me. I usually, I usually check. I'll check everybody's. I'll just go and check. Even if they don't even schedule it, I'll just, pff, I didn't get into, uh, there was one, there was one today, another friend of mine, but I couldn't get there. Yeah, I know, Vicky. I can't do that either. <laughs> I can't do that. Oh, gosh. Back in the day, I sure could have, though. Jax, yes, you missed, honey. I made a cake. I made a cake, a pineapple what do you, what did I call it? Pineapple. Oh, here, I'll show you it. I'll show you it before I go, Jax. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not on for my full two hours. <laughs> like everybody wants to chill out, relax on the weekend. They've got things to do, people to see. They got stuff to cook. This is my cake. I uh, took my torch to the coconut. But it's whipped cream pineapple, cream cheese on a graham crust on the bottom. 
I'll put, dang it, I can see it. <laughs> it's good. And the cream, I'll put the recipe in my description box. You don't have to use what I use. I don't think you even have to use pineapple. And there's coconut, which I torch to brown it. If you want to brown your coconut, you can as well. Make it your own, tweak it a little bit for sure. But this is good. Like this is good. It's good. I love it. I love it. I will definitely be making this again. Oh, heck yeah. Will I try a different kind of fruit? Oh, heck yeah. Strawberries, I'm not too sure about. Because with them being frozen and then thawed, they're going to get too soggy. I love all your recipes. Oh, thanks, Jax. Thank you. I know I got to make a dirt cake. Dirt. I Oreo dirt cake. That looks heavenly and very fattening, but it looks delish. It looks delish. So, yeah. But I thought I would just come on here for a little while. It's going on 6 o'clock my time, so. But I hope you guys all have a great night. Maybe I'll see some of you guys later. You never know, right? You never know. You never know. So have a good night. I hope I see some of you guys later. You never know. There might be another live later on tonight. So thanks for coming in. Even all the silent watchers, my moderators, everybody. I had so much fun. I always have fun with you guys. Always. Whether it's here or somewhere else. I always have fun with you guys. Thanks, Marlene. Thank you. You too. Have a good night, you guys. Fresh strawberries are awesome. Oh, they are. Ooh, fresh peaches even. Yeah. Just make it your own. You don't have to use what I use. Make it your own. That's the fun part. Night, Jax. Oh, thank you. She's such a sweetheart. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.